Yeah, but you two are back again. Um, so yeah, so it's time to kind of wag um, the inside of the collar. Now I know some people do and some people don't do this, uh, but I thought for the sake of like you know fifteen quid, I might as well just do it. Aren't I? Um, so I've got some um, some loft insulation, some silver kind of thermal bubble wrap stuff. Um, so it's a good size actually. It's like four four hundred mil high, um, so I can actually kind of cut this in half. It's gonna give me two hundred mil. Um, and that just gives me enough height to kind of go around it with a little bit at the top and a little bit at the bottom um, to actually kind of you know stick it um, to the collar using this um, thermal tape or not thermal tape but foil foil tape and this is good actually because it's got so it's got a, a watertight bond so. Um, you know, it's going to stop any kind of condensation, you know, dripping behind, uh, dripping behind the foil, foil and making it go all minging because, like I said, I've not stained um, the inside of the collar because I'm doing this instead. So, um, but yeah, because I can cut it in half, it's, it's a five meter roll. So I should have plenty. And I'll, pr I'll probably be able to go around it twice. So whilst I'm doing it, you know, in for a penny and for a pound, I might as well go in a whole hog. Um, yeah, so I'm also gonna because at the minute I've got um, two taps, so two shanks. Um, I've got the the other two holes drilled, uh, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave the foil over those uh, two holes just to keep you know some of the heat, um, you know, keep the heat out. Yeah, uh, keep the coolness in. Um, and obviously when I get my taps, I can just poke them all through it and then uh, <laughs> away you go. So I'm going to film me starting to do this. Um, so don't worry, back in a minute. Hey up. So I'm just going to lag uh, the collar. Um, don't worry, I'm not going to show you all this, uh, but I'll just do the first one um, on camera. And yeah the rest <laughs> so I'm just kind of lining it up I mean it doesn't need to be you know that scientific does it um, so I'm just kind of line it up get a general idea for where I'm gonna cut it and what I will do because uh, like I said I can probably get two lots of uh, two lots of wagon out, out of this so it's 40, 30, 40 mil um, I'll just make a couple of oh come back oh, bloody hell fire just make a couple of marks so in the kind of twenty mil zone I can just roughly cut it. I suppose I can kind of follow the line of the bubbles, to be honest. For the next dot, that's a good tactic. Oh, 
Opa. Ah, well, good job. Put it on this one so you can actually see it and probably be more useful, won't it? So, a little tiny little strip of wood at the top and at the bottom so I can put the tape on it. It's actually got a bit of uh, stickiness to it from. Mm, it's gone, it's gone, it was sticky. No, no mind. And this will be the fun bit. Yeah, it's got some sticky stuff. You can probably, probably can't see that because of the glare, but. Um, there's a bit of glue on the um, on the roll just to kind of keep it together, I suppose, whilst it was in the package. So let's see if we can use that. Actually. Why is it sticking to my bloody finger and not sticking to it? What? Slightly. I'm probably better off just sticking it to the thing if that's not. Like oh god. Ooh, come back. Stick it to this first. Probably should have just measured out how much I needed really. Oh fuck it. We'll be back in a minute. First time I've used this bloody aluminium tape, it's a right pain in the dick. Um, so a tip to you, if uh, if anyone's watching, don't take all the backing off in one go, thinking it's going to just kind of dangle around like a piece of cell tape. It won't, it'll coil up um, and be ruined. So anyway, so I've kind of just got, to, got it lined up here. Kind of just easing it off and just kind of going along. I'm just easing it down. Oh, okay, yeah, so I shan't have bothered. Down. Oh, what can Here, but um, let's see that. Let's see that. So, it doesn't, it's not the prettiest on top here, it's got a ton of kinks and whatnot in it, but 
Um, and so I'm going to put some kind of weather stripping on top, some foam tape, and hopefully that'll kind of cover that up. Um, anyway, so yeah, you get the idea. It's obviously a bit trickier than I thought it was going to be. Um, so I've been sweating my tits off. Unfortunately, you can't see that. <laughs> So I'm going to crack on with the rest. I think um, I think that doing it twice around is probably going to be optimistic. Uh, so what I think I'm going to do um, is I'm going to <laughs> reconsider, obviously. Uh, so I'll do it once round, um, and then if you know once I'm kind of up and running, if the if the geezer keeps kicking on like every ten minutes, it's obviously losing a lot of heat. I mean this wood, like I say, it's thick as anything, so. I'm hoping that you know the thermal properties of it's going to be decent anyway. But you know if I'm uh, if I'm hemorrhaging uh, heat, um, then yeah, I can always kind of go around it to a later date. So anyway, I'm going to finish this and I'll I'll come back in a bit. So right, I'll see you in a bit. <sighs> Two sides down. Two to go. Cheers, stick with me. Okay, so I finally done it. Um, as you can see, all nicely insulated, and I've um, put some um, of the insulating tape in all of the corners as well. Obviously, just to kind of, you know, make sure that. Uh, no moisture uh, leaked behind it. Uh, pressed it down all around to give it a nice tight seal. So uh, yeah, hopefully it was worth the effort. Oh man, we're back. The insulation is done all around one time. I'm not doing the second time around as I alluded to earlier. Oh, Pain in the ass. It should have been so straightforward. It should have been so easy. That foil tape is a nightmare. I don't know if anyone's used it out there. I've just I've not used it before. Ripping, curling. Just oh, fucking nightmare. Absolute nightmare. When I first started this, uh, obviously as you can kind of see from, from one of the earlier clips, it went tits up straight away, didn't it? Um, and, you know, I was originally kind of, you know, thinking of filming it kind of not real time, because I didn't want to show you, because it would have taken hours, obviously. Um, but I was hoping to kind of show you a, a bit more. Uh, <laughs> you know, me being me, I just kind of, you know, jumped into the deep end. Hey, let's see, it shouldn't have been hard, should it? So I thought, you know, give it a crack, be right. Um, but we abruptly had to stop filming early on, uh, <laughs> just so I could actually get it done um, without making myself look like a complete tit. Uh, but it's a good job I did that actually because um, if anyone's familiar with this, it, it, the video would have literally been an hour of me just doing this. I'll try this corner. I'll try this corner. You need nails to do that, right? I fucking cut my nails yesterday, didn't I? If I had to cut my nails yesterday, that would have saved me about 40 minutes today. Fucking piss take. But we're done, the insulation is on, the film tape is on, all of the kind of, you know, gaps um, are sealed, so like I said, no condensation can kind of drip behind um, the boards and, you know, make a bit minging, um, it's all mouldy and stuff, well, you know, I know some people just kind of like, you know, literally just use plain wood, um, so, 
I've not done that. I've at least given it some protection plus some thermal insulation as well to boot. Um, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully that's it. Uh, and it'll keep its temperature nicely. I keep looking at it. <laughs> Some pride and joy. Um, so, yeah. Oh, fucking knackered now. I'm literally knackered. If anyone's watching, um, you know, if, if anyone's thinking of building a Kiza, um, to watch this video because this is actual real life. You know, some guy just having a go at it. Um, there's so many videos out there where it's just like, just put these pieces of wood together. You just put this insulation on. Bing! And it's done, in it? That's not the case. It is, it's, it's our work. It's our work. Hopefully it's going to be worth it. Um, I'm sure it's going to be worth it. It's definitely, it's definitely going to be worth it, isn't it? Definitely. But, um, you know, if you've got a lot of money, I can see why you might, pay, you know, spend £1,000 and... Just having a pre-made one. Um, I think this is a mangrove chat. Six hundred quid for a three keg, uh, kegerator. But whatever. So what's next? Um, gonna take the hinges off the keyser. Gonna put the collar on top of the keyser. Hopefully it's not. Um, hopefully it's gonna lie flat and not be like a wonky. Like a system to wobbly table, um, so hopefully it's going to lie nice and flat. As I said, I'm going to put some weather stripping on top, a to hide um, the hash that I've, I've done with that uh, foil tape, but b also to kind of, um, you know, kind of help the, the 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 kind of what's it called? I don't know what it's called. Gasket, it's called the gasket, the bit that goes around the, um, like the magnet strip thing that goes around the lid. Because um, what I've not done is I've not put a hole through for the thermometer. So at the minute I'm just kind of, I'm not really using it as a, uh, as like a I'm just using it as like a normal fridge. So I've got, I have actually got an eating bird uh, regulating the temperature in a minute. A couple, couple of bottles of elderflower champagne in there, some bottles of warm brew, and that's pretty much it really. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm just going to literally just kind of like you know dangle the thermometer under the kind of you know gasket. Let's let's call it a gasket. Um, but at the minute it's kind of like well, so I'm going to get some foam tape, the weather stripping, put it all the way around, and it'll just kind of help it. You know, it'll kind of um, well, what am I even on about? <laughs> You know what I mean. Um, it's, it's, the phone tape has got a little bit more kind of, you know, give on to it, so it'll, it'll make a nice, a nicer indentation. Uh, so the kind of, you know, the, the magnet's a bit more plasticky, uh, so it, it, it doesn't kind of, you know, encompass the wire uh, like I'm hoping the phone tape's going to. Um, like, it's like a phone mattress, isn't it? You know, it, it molds to your body shape, so. Hopefully it'll mold to the wire shape rather than just making a kind of, um, you know, like a bit of a triangle and even a bit of a gap, um, at, at, like it like it is at the minute. Um, so that's next. I've got some. I've got all the crap in, in the games room ready. So I've got some of this. So I'll stick it down. Uh, I can't see that sticks all. Um, sticks virtually anything to anything apparently. High bondage rate, interior and exterior use. 100 kilo, 100 kilogram uh, high bonding strength, waterproof, weatherproof, um, resistant to temperature extremes, minus 40 to 150 degrees, wow. So, you can even use it underwater. So I've pretty much got all bases covered there, aren't I? Um, I, think it's, I think it should be all right to, to, to A, stick the collar and, you know, B, kind of, you know, have that, that kind of waterproof element to it as well. Um, so yeah, that's going to be the next video. So if you want to carry on seeing an idiot trying to try his hand at building a keyser, tune in next time. Camera's over there. Um, right.
ساده